Hi folks, this is Brandon at Brum Levy Industries again. I'm going to show you on the roll right system, which is very uncommon, but it does happen. If in case of emergency that this system does not work, there is a way that you can bypass this box and go if you have no way of rolling the system. If there's no spline on the back, you have the dual arm or whatever. Um, basically what you're going to do is go into the sealed box. I'm going to take these four screws out. All right, now once you have the four screws out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna lay this box down to the back side of the relay. Basically, these two coming in are gonna go right up to the plug and are gonna be your power. This is your positive and this is your negative. The other two are gonna go straight up to your motor. This is obviously your power and your ground for that. Don't matter which ones you take off, but you're gonna have to take two of them off and touch them over to this side. One way will open it, switch them around, and one way will close it. You'll have to listen to the system but this will bypass it if there is an issue with the RF unit or the relay inside of there. This is just an in case of emergency and you have to for some reason that something is not. A lot of times it comes down to connection is what it could be. But this will bypass it so you can roll it unless there is a motor issue. This is uncommon but you should have to do it. Basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them two wires off and I'm going to touch them over here. Now I have to listen to the motor and see which way it's going to decide if I have to swap it around or not. So I'm going to try it now. With that opened the system. I'm going to swap the two wires around. And that closes the system. That is what you do to bypass this box. In case of that, then you just give me a call and we can diagnose and figure out what is going on. But this is just a quick way just to show you how to do that.